Dear colleagues, this is one of the best videos ever made to demonstrate divide and conquer technique of echo emulsification. Please watch this video with rapt attention. This is the main incision. It is a 2.8 millimeter incision at 11 o'clock. Now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision. I am going to stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye to show rexis very clearly. An air bubble has been injected. Now, here goes the dye. The dye is spread evenly over the anterior capsule. And now, the dye is washed out. You need not wait more than 6-7 seconds. An abstaining occurs in 6-7 seconds. Now, viscoelastic substance is injected. The antechamber is filled off with HPMC, hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose, 2%. And now, another side port is made on the left side of the main incision for introduction of chopper. And now, the rexis is to be made. I incise the capsule with this bent needle, 26 case needle. Raise this nice, large capsular flap to which is easy to hold with a uterator of horses. The capsule is held. I go anti-clockwise, move like this. I to try to remain at equal distance from the dilated pupillary margin. And now, here, the rexis is going to be completed. So, this is a fairly round, large rexis. The rexis size is about 5.5 to 6 millimeter. Now see hydro dissection. Fluid wave is passed and see it goes to the other side. Now tap the opposite equator that is 7 o'clock. Could see the fluid wave coming anteriorly. It means the cortex and the nucleus, the capsule and the nucleus has been separated. The nucleus rotates very nicely. And now is the time to enter into the eye with the FECO handpiece. Here it is. This is Oatly Catarix 3 FECO machine. Go bevel down, turn and make the bevel up. This turning you can take help of your left hand. Now in this case I am going to make a trench from 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock. First, this first trench is little wider than the diameter of one tip. So, the diameter is just little more than 2.8 millimeter, the width of the trench. And after going to some depth, I rotate the nucleus. Still, I am making the trench. Now, I rotate the nucleus and just at the center, of this hemineucleus. I make another trench. And the initial trench is dependent on this side. So in divide and conquer technique it is very important that the nucleus rotates nicely. And now the other hemineucleus. Trench is made on the other hemineucleus. So it has become a plus sign and now we have to go to the proper depth so that we can divide the nucleus at on go we need not struggle this is very important we have to go to proper depth and now this is the nice depth and just see if we just apply opposite forces in each trains, it divides so nicely. That's it. So the nucleus has been divided into four almost equal parts. Now I go to FECO2 mode and each nuclear fragment is emulsified and taken out. Trenching was made in FECO1 mode where the FECO power was 70%, flow rate was 25% and vacuum was only 
50. And in FECO2 mode, I'm emulsifying each fragment. FECO power is 65%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Catarex 3 FECO machine. Now a little bit of viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and the cortical lens matter is removed by this 23 gauge direct Simco cannula. This is a beautiful instrument and this is very safe and very controlled way we can remove the nucleus. That's it. The cortex is removed. Now in this case I'm going to do hydro polish. This is hydro polish. The irrigating probe or bimanual eye is taken and the jet of irrigating fluid is used to polish the posterior capsule. See all these cells, most of the cells have been dislodged and the posterior capsule is becoming very transparent, clear of any cells. Now I go through the side port and irrigate and implant a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens under irrigation. The leading haptic goes into the bag and the trailing haptic just by a nudge of the irrigating probe goes into the capsular bag. Now I go behind the bag, irrigate some or stare in the lumen of the cartridge that is removed by flushing out and this is a bit of moxifloxacin. This is hydration of side ports. The side ports are hydrated to make these wounds waterproof. That's it. And now I always give a final wash and this final wash you can see the visco that sticks to the endothelium can be removed. Here it is. Yes. The visco that was sticking to the corneal endothelium came out. That's it. Now I conclude the case. Here it is. Form the entry chamber and conclude the case. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in doing your first FACO surgery.